And now talking a little bit more about, um, about the base polymers, we're gonna talk about the different types of conductive plastics we have um, and their benefits. So there are actually three main base polymers um, in our premier conductive plastic product line. Um, each has a different specific property, making them ideal for different applications. Um, so the first one that you see here on the left is a PBT. Um, it's a polyester base, and it was actually specially formulated for chemical resistance in automotive applications. So specifically resistant to automotive fluids in underhood applications. Um, and the two different types of PBT materials are a PBT-225 and a PBT-250-FR, um, that FR being a flame retardant variant. Um, in the middle, you have a PC-ABS, which is a polycarbonate ABS alloy. Um, and that actually has a few different grades, um, and it's a great cost to performance value. So A220, 230, and 240 um, represent the different loading levels of conductive fillers within the polymers with uh, a high temperature and flame resistant variants available in all of those. And finally, you have a PEI on the right side, which is a polyether imid or an Altem based polymer, which is actually primarily used for high performance military applications or applications where you see high temperature requirements or where um, optimal smoke density performance is needed. Yeah, and just to point out, you know, the PBT family was a recent um, addition to the family of polymers. If you see, if you think you need something and you don't see it on the chart, please reach out. We we design and develop materials constantly. So if there's something you're looking for specifically, please let us know. Okay, so this is a good a big chart, and and of course you'll have this after the fact, but this is just something to show, you know, for instance, the PBT and the PEI are very excellent at chemical resistance. You know, automate, automotive applications under the hood, you're gonna have to resist automotive fuels, um, defense aerospace, you know, you might be uh, resisting jet fuels or hydraulic fuels. Um, you can see EMI shielding on the PCABS, to A240 is, is high. So, it, you know, it just depends on specifically what you're looking for. Um, but if you're unsure, we will always work with you to make sure you get the right material. We're never going to tell you to buy the Porsche when you just need a Yugo. <laughs> and we do um, provide test sample boxes of pellets as well as boxes that you can actually, you know, put your cell phone in and call. <laughs> so. Yeah, we, we have a variety of different samples that you can buy through our website, through our uh, parker.com e-commerce site. Um, like Sierra was saying, there's uh, test boxes where you can put your electronics inside and, and do some actual real life um, EMI shielding tests. And, and also keep in mind what Sierra was saying before, you, you don't have to know this from the presentation. This is just something that gives you just a quick user guide, just a feel for the fact that there's a variety of materials out there and you don't have to be an expert in what each one of them does. We'll help you navigate those waters. We'll help you figure out what's the best material for your application. So uh, it, it looks intimidating, but don't, don't sweat it because we're here to help on that. Thanks, Pete. Okay, so PCABS is by far the largest polymer family that we have. Um, there's, there's three grades but there's also subgrades within the family. So HT is a general all-purpose material. It's most economical. Uh, you get into an FR, which is a flame retardant. It's a V0. ST is, is a tougher material for impact resistance and, um, and also has a higher maximum op uh, operating temperature. Um, but what, so what, and the HT and the FR actually have hybrid fillers. So what this does is improves the cost performance and also reduces warpage. So these are actually the standard nickel plated fiber that we pull trude and actually pelletize into each. And then they, they fill it, they backfill it with granular fillers to basically make it more filled with material so yeah nickel plated graphite is also used and, and like sierra was saying that's going to reduce the warpage it's going to give you a little better cost performance without sacrificing the shielding and, and then last but not least the st the super tough the way it gets to be super tough is we're using more pc in the alloy and less abs pc is a highly impact resistant material you know like your safety goggles are all polycarbonate and um, 
and using more PC, you're going to get better impact performance, but you're also going to get better impact performance from being an all fiber material. So that doesn't have any of the granular fillers. So all that fiber, it's like a carbon fiber reinforced material. Uh, we've had customers that um, made boxes and they dropped them 30 feet on concrete floors and the boxes have survived great. You know, the electronics might have got a little messed up on the inside, but the boxes were great. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a variety of different materials, even in the PCABS family, you know, and, and we're always looking for where we can give you the best cost performance without sacrificing your other needs. So we'll help you dial that in. <laughs>